Hey guys, and we are back doing some more about system software. Now, I know you've already had some videos on system software. This one is very short, very quick. It's just discussing the final part about system software that it's kind of important to know. Okay, so we're going to be talking about device drivers okay or software drivers now the driver is actually a very important part of a hardware's computing now when I talk about driver I'm not talking about this kind of driver okay that's a very different kind of driver I'm talking about an actual driver which is an application it's a piece of software that you need for the hardware to work let me give you an example let's have a look here so when you have a device that you've connected to your computer let's say it is a printer as an example all right so when the device has been connected number one what happens first there is our printer we've now plugged it in the first thing that happens is the operating system queries the device and obtains drivers either from supplied software on disk so that means you would have given it the driver or via an online search so it's going to need to install the drivers it's either going to go and look online and find the right driver because it's it's spoken to the hardware the hardware said I'm a printer this is my make and model and the computer goes I need to be able to, to use this device I need this device driver I need this software to manage this device so it downloads it online if it's connected online or you will have received a disk a CD perhaps okay old old school days where you got to put the CD in and install the driver software first so that's the first thing that happens all right number two what happens next well next the device drivers are installed onto the computer okay so it downloads the driver or you provide it with a disk and installs it onto the computer what happens next well number three the computer and the device are now able to communicate and the user can now access and control that device so it's quite a process okay it's actually quite a process you got to, it's connecting it's finding a driver it's installing the driver and now it can work with it now that is if the driver is not accessible right away okay let me show you what scenario number two looks like this is the more common scenario for most devices nowadays so when the device has been connected okay the driver software is already on the computer Windows Mac Linux all of them the the main operating systems already have a database a library of drivers for most devices that we use today okay and that means that when you connect the device to the computer the OS queries the device and automatically installs the driver software from its library no searching online no waiting for you to put in a disk and install something it automatically installs it right away so that means we already on the second and final step the computer and the device are now able to communicate and you can now access and control the device we call this plug and play plug and play technology you plug something in it's ready to work too many students think that plug and play has something to do with gaming and games that's not what it's about guys plug and play means you connect a device the computer automatically installs the driver and it's ready to use within a few seconds that's plug and play okay so I hope that made sense please don't think plug and play has anything to do with games don't forget that a driver is simply a piece of software that allows the hardware and the operating system to communicate and uh, be able to be controlled by you, the user.